Hi there. This is Alex from Essential Web Apps. And, in this video, we will learn how to make a responsive design in Figma. When you are designing a website, you have to consider all kinds of devices that it's going to be previewed into. For large displays like, several sizes of desktop, laptop, or tablet display. And also for smaller displays like phones and smartwatches, that includes varieties of Android and iOS products. But before we get into it, we make videos regularly. If you want to see videos like this, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notification. So, let's see it in Figma. Okay, first we took the same elements in two frames. One is without a column grid. And, another one is with grid. We discuss the grid system in another video, you must check that. The link is in the description. Okay, now, in Figma you can constrain an element. In simpler words, fix the position of an element in accordance with any border of the frame. As you can see, I constrain this box, to the top, and it will move on both left and right sides when we display gets bigger or smaller. And, as you can see, it doesn't have any grid in it. I did the same thing here also. But the only difference is, that frame has a 6 column grid. So, if I try to reduce or expand the size of the screen, as I constrain the elements, it will try to keep up the distance with the frame's border. And will look like this. Broken and uneven. But the frame with the 6 columns will not face this problem. All elements will be equally reshaped with maintaining the preset 20 pixel gap. Basically, in the frame without the 6 column, elements are constrained against the frame border. But, when in case of the frame with columns, elements are constrained with the columns. That is why it can maintain the gap also. But, what if you have 5 elements in a 6 column grid system? Previous boxes are fit perfectly within the 6 column setup. But uneven elements will not fit in an even number column setup. And it will not work properly. So, what we are gonna do here? We are going to select all these elements and hit Ctrl G or Command G and make it a group. Then change it to a frame from here. At this point, we have a frame inside a frame. And we can set its own grid system. So, select the inside frame and click here. Set 5 columns. In here set the gap into 50 pixels, because these elements have a 50 pixel gap. Now, you can see, it is an individual frame with a separate 5 column grid system. Now, insert this frame, into the main frame again. Now I will constrain all icons into top and center. And, all the boxes and text are constrained into left and right, and top. Now, let's check. Oh, I almost forgot, I have to constrain the whole frame also. Now, it's working perfectly. Nice. Okay, now, let's go to this element. Here, with the column constraint, it is working perfectly. The box and the button are fixed. And the text is responsive to the size. But with the same constraints, in the grid frame, it looks buggy. Because it is constrained with the column, but not with a frame border. So, basically, we do not need any frame here. So, here, we will do the same thing. Select it, group it and convert it into a frame. But, this time, we will not set any grid here. As we do not need that. We will set the constraints to left and right and top. Done. It is working perfectly. So, by using these simple techniques, 
you will be able to design a beautiful responsive design, just like this. Which, I hope you will. So, there you go. What's else you want to know about Figma? Let me know in the comment section. And, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And, I will see you in the next video.